Hello everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new um, memory book photograph album um, that we covered at my first weekend retreat and it's now an online workshop as well, or it will be. Um, it's made from the 12 Days of Christmas, Graphic 45 papers and this is what we used the 6x6 papers, the 8x8 and the 12x12. We didn't use all of the papers but there's a combination of all of the sizes um, throughout the album but you could swap and change uh, or make it exactly if you want to follow along through the online workshop. So let me show you the album itself. It's um, quite large 10 by 7 inches I think and it's chipboard bound it's got a straight spine I don't know if you can see that um, it's got 16 pages inside and ties up with a ribbon and then on the back oops, there's just um, one of the lovely embellishments and the ribbon just goes through and then ties on the front so the front cover is um, 8x8 and 12x12 papers with a gold buckle. Um, I thought that was quite Christmassy, like Father Christmas's buckle. And then we've got some doilies um, and some fussy cutting and a little bit of stickles. I don't know if you can see that uh, just around the edges and just to give it a really Christmas feel. And then we'll work through it. It really is an album for photographs because I know we all take lots and lots at Christmas so there are lots of places to put full-size photographs and to journal as well and that's my thing being able to put um, six by four photos or larger in your album without having them hidden away so um, the first two pages are very Christmassy colors we've got a bit of fussy cutting here and the plaids and then we've got two photo mats so this one's just plain plain space on the back and that just slides into the pocket there and then there's just a little journaling spot that slides under here just very simple I've used the graphic 45 stamps as well that go with the collection and so that one just fits under there so that you can write about your photograph and then on the page here I've got one of Andy's twinlets here, half a twin set, as I call her, <laughs> and her boyfriend Joe. But I put that in just to show you how easy it is just to add the pictures into the album. So nice space again for your favourite Christmas photo. Um, and then we've got a tag that just sits in the back, covered with the planes that go with the papers. And... Um, just space for a photograph on the back of there. There's lots of hidden pockets in this album and uh, lots of room for everything. So let's just pop them back in. This is a woodware corner punch, um, corner slot punch that I've used as well. And then we start the pages. So there is a page for every day um, running through the 12 days of Christmas. So this one is the first day of Christmas. We've got a tag in the pocket here. We've got the pears up here. Um, I'm not sure where the partridge has gone. He was around. Um, and then just tags and belly bands going on. So lots of places again to put photos. I've used the stamps as well. The lovely 12 days stamps by Graphic 45 in there and the Sizzix tag and then there is a tag that goes in the pocket behind here and that's got mixed up I think but that's got the number two on two total doves and a little photo frame on the back there again that's the Sizzix die and then just some um, elements from the 8x8 papers mixed with the 12x12 for a very green and red page. This page I've got the two turtle doves. Um, we've got a tag in the pocket here, a 
again it's the Sizzix Elise tag. Um, done some fussy cutting, cut out the beautiful doves and just use glossy accents to highlight the words on there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's pop that back in there. And then this page opens and there's another pocket behind the flap with a tag in and then a full size photo mat for your favourite photo and magnets as well. There's uh, three or four magnets in the album. So that's day number two. And then flipping over, whoops, we've gone pink for the three French hens. And I've just put, um, a, this is an alterations die in here. Um, put a belly band under, let's just slide that in, over the page and just a plain tag you could add anything you want onto that and i've used one of the tim holtz movers and shapers just to cut out that word and some stickles to bling it up and then it's just plain on the back and i've used a three french hens stamp on the back there so there is a little bit of room for writing and then there is a tag in this pocket here I did cheat a little bit. I had got some 6x6 secret garden papers and I thought the pink was quite nice from that to go with the um, three French hens paper. So I've just used that on this little photo mat and that one just slides into the pocket here. So hidden at the top and then just a green tab again cut from the patterns and solids. I've used the two sizes of paper on here as well, 8x8 for the pocket and the 12x12 for the backing. Next page we've gone small, so I've just cut out those beautiful roses and one of the four calling birds and, and then the elements from the edge of the large 12x12 paper that says on the fourth day of Christmas. And then there is a tag in here, in this little pocket. And again, I've put the stamps on for the four calling birds. Cut the corners ready for a photo. And then you can put a photo on the back as well. So that one slides into that pocket. And then it flips over and we've got five gold rings. This is one of the um, cut aparts and we've got room I haven't done it, but we have got room to put, let's just show you, a little tag inside the cut apart there. And then I've cut the rings out of the 12 by 12 paper and golden rings, the saying there, and the five, and the large one. These three are raised up on foam dots, and then the other four are just scattered over the cut apart. So that was day number five. Day number six, is it six geese are laying? Let's have a look, I think it is. So we've got the geese, I've gone yellow, we've used um, pockets for this page that have got lots of detail and room for bits and pieces in there. So we've got the geese and the nest the word peace is raised up on foam tape and then the poinsettia and the roses just for decoration. And then in the pockets we've got a full size photo mat, plain on the back, and a tag which has got the six geese laying stamp on the back. There's two pockets in here, there's the bottom one and the top one, separated by the six days of Christmas um, saying and then I did put in two little envelopes to put whatever you want to put in there and those are a Sizzix die that I've used and they just slot in there like that and then let's pop oops, the photo mat in there like that so that was page six. 
Then we're going to go blue and these pages, these two pages, don't relate to anything in the book. The papers um, I've just combined because we've got to the centre, we've got more pages than we've got days. So I thought we'd use the roses, put them on the blue backgrounds and then I've just put two little um, oval tags in each one and I've used the pink paper again from Secret Garden for that. So those are Sizzix Framelit dies and these are belly bars and I just popped a little tag in the bottom one just to write on. And is there a pocket? Oh, there's a pocket here as well. A pocket at that end. So lots, lots on the page. This page is actually a slider page, so there's hidden room for, let's just hold the book properly, hidden room for photos under there, just small ones, and that just slides in and closes like that. So I really wanted to incorporate the um, beautiful rose border. So I love those two pages. And then we carry on with day number seven. So swans, seven swans are swimming and we've got a tag in here and a photo mat and that's got the seven swans are swimming stamp on. Pocket on the front of this um, flip up page and a magnet closure and then it flips up and inside I've used the Alterations Noel die just to put some detail on that photo mat there and then there's a pocket with two tags in. Again that one's got the number seven on, you can see. And I think this one's just plain, yeah. But again, you can put whatever you want in your pockets. There's lots of paper to choose from. And then I use the border from the 12 by 12 papers with the swans on just to finish off at the bottom. Eight Maids a Milking page. Um, it's a slider page again. It comes up. So that was fun to make. And there is room for a photo mat underneath that centre pocket which I've covered in the lovely cream paper with the green detail on. And then we have got the eight maids of milking stamp on the back of that and a journaling spot just to put some details about the photo that you've put in your book. Let's pop that back in. And then, let's flip over. Blue again, so we've got nine ladies dancing. Yeah, nine ladies dancing. So I've kept the theme again for these two pages, blue and cream. Um, we've got a full-size photograph mat with the stamp, nine ladies dancing stamp and some of the pink roses. And then just some detail from the 8x8 papers on the paper here. And the nine ladies dancing down there. And then the large lady has been cut out from the 12x12 12 12 paper. And that's why I like to use the 12 by 12s because um, the images, if you want to cut them out, are a really lovely size. And she's just mounted on some cream patterns and solids and blue spot patterns and solids. And then we've got 10 Lords a Leaping and cream paper for the background. I've used um, a Spellbinders die for the black detail there and just cut out the Lords are Leaping and the number 10 and then some of the roses and the birds from the 8x8 papers I think they were and then just a small photo mat with the 10 Lords are Leaping stamp on it and that just sits behind there and these again images were from the 12x12 paper and there is um, a pocket at the end of the envelope to put um, tags in or photo mats in if you want to. And then flipping over, what day are we up to? Oh, day 11. So 11 pipers piping. 
So we've got red stripes and the beautiful poinsettias, lovely image here and uh, a tag to go in the pocket with the stamp on, 11 Lords are leaping. And then I've cut out and raised up on foam dots um, on the 11th day of Christmas, just to put some detail on the pocket there. And the photo mat just slides in like that, or the tag. You could put a photo mat in if you wanted to. Um, this one I've made a pocket page. I've backed the poinsettias here and the top of the pocket with black card, cut out the drum that's raised up on foam dots and my true love gave to me which sort of follows on from the detail on the previous page and then we've got a photo mat and a tag in here so let's turn that one around I love this shape this is a new Sizzix die that's come out and uh, I've just put some holly detail on it and then plain on the back, but it's got the running stitch around it. I don't know if you can see that, but it cuts it out. So that one goes in there like that. And then a full size photo mat, again with a journaling spot and the 12 drummers, can't think, drummers drumming stamp on the back. And that's all um, backed on spotty, no, what am I say, stripy paper. And that's from the 8x8 pad, and you wouldn't believe it, but it is actually, I don't think you can see, but it is joined here. So we've used up um, our papers as best we can, and tried to be economical with them, rather than having lots of bits left over. And then flipping over to the back, had to get this beautiful paper in here so we've gone red and green again really nice space for a photo mat on that back page you could if you want to um, put something underneath I don't think I did I think this one is actually stuck on yeah and um, but you could leave a pocket underneath and put another tag in and lastly oh here's the partridge he's gone all the way to the back how did he do that um, same style as the front um, inside cover and first page. I've got a belly band here with some holly detail and little photo mat just with the patterns and solids and then a full size photo mat and a tag here. Journaling spot on the back of that one. Nice pocket to put lots of things in and just a plain tag there for a photograph on the back. And that's it. It's a very um, practical album. It's got lots of space in, but it's also got lots of room to add more into it. Whilst the pages have all got detail on and they've all got some thickness to them, the spine width on the book allows you to put and add more photos and more journaling. It's not chock-a-block full with papers already. As you can see, there's plenty of room for you to add your detail to. So I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough. Um, if you want to do the online workshop for this, it's available over on the blog. Um, details are below. And if you do it, have fun making it. Thanks for watching.